we've just seen a bear that was walking around in front of a glacier over there. We've just arrived, uh, so this is a kind of a test more than anything, but we're going to go and see if we can film it. We're seeing how smoothly we can make this operation work. is that the team's stabilised aerial camera, now fitted to the speedboat, will give perfectly stable shots of the bear swimming. Spin us around, we'll lose that, we'll lose that. Well, the fellow's over here, yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah, got him, he's got him, yeah. any tighter. You shoot it? Whee! Look at the lights. Nice, nice sparkle, nice yeah. liquid look. Let's let him go. Okay, cut. After their initial success, the weather takes a turn for the worse. For five days, there are no more polar bears to be found. The captain decides to take a break and parks up in the pack ice. But after all that fruitless searching by the crew, a bear visits them. A large and inquisitive adult male. So the team decides to follow him. The open water between boat and bear means the crew can safely film from surprisingly close range without disturbing him. That's nice. Look. The bear is so relaxed, he even begins to hunt right alongside them. He's looking for a seal inside. He's just completely ignoring this. Just hold it there. Just hold it there for a minute. He's going to climb up. Okay. Ready? That's a big bear. That's pretty good, pretty good. The closest we've been to a polar bear so far. 